Hi guys. Hi, welcome to the Medic Talk Show. Hello everyone, so nice to be here again. So my last video was on cat breeding and today in this edition I have two words for you. Hilda Bassi. <laughs> yes, she's the phenomenon of the country. So far, not with the country, the whole nation is talking about Hilda Bassi. And today on the Medis Talk Show, we're going to be talking about her, her feet and also a certain aspect of this cookathon that has been happening so far that pertains to science, that pertains to the medical talk show. Yep. But today, I have with me a very special guest, and I'm going to let her introduce herself, because the last time I tried to introduce her on my show, she almost got my head. So please. Okay. Hi, guys. My name is Oinda Molafawami, but please call me simply Hanida. Mm -hmm. I'm a voiceover artist mm -hmm. and a host. OK. It's nice to meet you guys. Welcome to the medical talk show, Simply yeah. Hanida. So, um, talking about Hilda Bassi now. All Hilda right. Bassi is a 27-year-old Aquaibom Emphasis on the age, 27. 27, and she has, Jesus, the whole, like, world record. How old are you? Is the world talking about you? Yes. Bella, let's, let's not be that you are in that equation too. But I'm not 27 yet, but, but okay. And she has achieved so much in her cookathon. Basically, she's trying to break the Guinness Book Oh, you mean she has record. broken? Thank you. <laughs> she has broken point of correction. Yeah, she has. I mean, I mean, and even exceeded it, so. So she was, she she has broken the current record of the longest cooking time, which was previously set at eighty seven hours forty five minutes forty five zero minutes, seconds. An Indian chef, and now she Lata has broken Tondon? Lata Tondon in yes. twenty nineteen, mm -hmm. and now she has broken it with an additional twelve hours, a hundred hours, hundred hours in total of non stop cooking for the no. All the years you've been cooking your life. Now, nah, two hours, I'm done. In fact, I'm, I'm going <laughs> to you accumulate everything till now. Is it up to 100? Nah. Yeah. Please, for God's sake. So it's, it's really amazing, actually. And then you're seeing someone with so much energy, so much usefulness going out there. I mean, she didn't just wake up one day and say, okay, I want to start cooking. Yeah. She has been planning this for yeah. years. You must have it that it's been like five years long, a five year long dream. So we're going to be here today discussing how long it's going to take an average person to get that stamina and that amount of fitness to take that competition. But first of all, Uyinda Bola, simply honey dam. Yes. Can you say a few words about Hilda Bassi? Because I personally feel she's amazing. Do you mind if I just run through the um, information that um, social media has given to us? Please. So yeah, like she mentioned earlier, she's a 27-year-old Nigerian woman, a bomb to be precise. Nigerian. Hilda Bassi F. Young. Mm -hmm. Like, when I heard her, when I heard the Hilda Bassi thing and everybody came with, she's Ghanaian, she's Kenyan, I'm like, wait, let's calm down, do some research. Apparently, she's proudly Nigerian. Quite boom, for that matter. Yeah, so the um, social media has it that she's been planning this for like five years. I mean, I think that's since 2019, since the actual record had been set. And from feeding to health wise, Everything basically. I think she even invested like two years of her lives, of her life rather, mm -hmm. going to the gym to mm -hmm. get the body. I mean, I the saw stamina, I, the core strength. I saw, everything. I saw a reel of her working out, and you could see that. Nah, this, this was. Yeah, even even our coach commended on her effort that she was very determined mm -hmm. on that goal. Do you know how much? People would have said to you, I'm sure some brands were not even supporting her when she started the whole idea. Yes, because they're talking like, about brands, I I read a tweet saying. Um, Initially, her team reached out to a couple of people, a whole number of them, and they turned her down. That's and, a thing. And the person was like, I'm just trying, I'm just pitting those brand managers in board meetings right now because they'll be like, Do you know the publicity she has given to most brands that are actually on set? But I feel it is very, very normal because I would not invest in you until you show. Fine. Sorry, I, sorry, I wasn't going to say that, but Hilda has actually shown the record like over mm -hmm. the years mm -hmm. from being, um, I think she beats. Um, I think a Ghanaian in Joel of Master yes, competition yes, one definitely. time. She was like, she has actually set the standard for somebody that can achieve this particular thing. Mm -hmm. But it is not like every other challenge. I mean, who cooks for 96 hours? Who? It looks like an empty dream if you don't have the vision yourself. So most brands, I can kind of understand mm -hmm. if they do not want to invest in that type of dream because the pros and the cons, the cons might be more than the pros when they actually weigh the balance. True. So it's, it's just a 
other people that were ready to um, risk it all, mm -hmm. they were like, okay, whatever happens, we're doing this this year. And hey, big ups to those who risked really, it. Really, they did a lot risking. Bro. Cheers to Nigerian youth. Jesus, the support has been amazing. And that I chef too, never that was so proud. To and that Nigerian. chef too, that was beside her. Oh my God. Oh, her team has been amazing. Hilda has been amazing. Nigerians have been amazing. I mean, her cook has done, attracted a lot of celebrities. Of course. Talking about I mean, who know like Batati? Talking about the, even the governor of Lagos State called him to check him. The vice president of Nigeria called him. Yeah. Check him. I mean, who does not want to identify? Everybody wants to be attached with greatness. I mean, and the last set the record, so. Yeah, all right, so today we're going to be talking about her fitness schedule, like schedule, what it was like, what the past two years have been getting ready for this cookathon. And for that, we are bringing two amazing trainers on the house, and they're going to be talking to us, you know, about what her fitness schedule might have looked like. And for you out there who's thinking of breaking a Guinness Book of Record record. <laughs> We're going to be learning exactly what it takes or what it took you that to break hard. So maybe you can start your prep now for in the next three years. This step can be calling your name. <laughs> you need to try to put yourself in that equation too. I don't know why I'm attacking you, but please do. Don't, don't insult me on my own show. Thank my you. bad. <laughs> so that's we'll bring our guest and then we're going to be talking more on this business issue. Be right back. BRB. All right, so we're back with our guests, our amazing trainers. Yes. Who are guests on the show, and they're going to be talking to us about fitness and what exactly it took you that to get to this level of fitness. Because I can't imagine standing for hours on end. I mean, even with your menstruation going on. That who knows as if a she woman? Was she was. She was. Yeah, people had it that she had menstrual cramps. Wow. Okay. Wow. That's like, extra information. My, my respect for her just went from this to this. Because. Like, because and according to the record or the set of rules put by Guinness, you only have five minutes per hour to rest, or the equivalent of that amount stipulated. of minutes for for a stipulated period of time. So imagine standing for when you take five minutes out of one hour, you have fifty five minutes. So imagine standing for fifty five minutes times how I many hours? Twenty four. Twenty four. Wow. That's horrible. <laughs> Did you just say horrible? Yeah, well, okay. Maybe but, the experience. But, but, but we have two two amazing fitness coaches on the show today. And the first person goes by Bastison or Vitam. Sorry, I, I hope I didn't murder that. We stand to be corrected. I stand to be corrected. Who is a fitness trainer and physiotherapist located in Abuja? He's come, calling in all the way from Abuja. Nice to have you. Nice to have you, Bastison. Thank you. <laughs> All right, and we have Stephen Oluafemi, who is also a fitness coach at Get Shaped Fitness um, Gym Center, and he is in Ibadan. So thank you, um, Stephen, for coming on the show. Thank you, Bartison, for coming on the show. You're welcome. All right. Welcome. So um, my first question goes to Stephen. In if if I were killed now. And okay, I say in the next two, three years, I want to break a Guinness world record with that kind of standing, that amount of energy. I want to get fit. Like, what would you suggest that I start with? Like, how many scrunchies do I do? How many sit ups are you going to like recommend for me per day? Okay, now, um, let, let's, let's start with this. Let's start with this. Um, you know, she, she didn't just, she didn't just, um, Go into it that way. We need to talk about passion first. All right. And now, I, I, number one, you get to realize that um, looking at her history, you you realize that she has she has a passion for cooking already. Mm -hmm. Now, then building a lifestyle from a passion. That's the second thing. Then now taking it to the less let's now switch that into fitness. Now, you've gotten the passion. You've created a lifestyle because you know most times fitness is not just about um, or working out. You have to create a lifestyle with it. Now you've got some the passion, you've got some the lifestyle. Now putting it into fitness is more like you're trying to break a record now. Mm -hmm. So what are the things you like? You said what are the things you would have to engage in? Number one, it has to come with um, the normal, regular, how that put it, cardiovascular trainings first. 
Mm-hmm. Because those are the things that would that would um, build your your endurance level. Okay. Sure, you get. So I I know that to an extent. I think um, I'm not really a, a fan of social media, but because of the trend going, on, I had to like okay, go on social media to to find out more about her. Okay. But I got to realize that um, Kemen Fitness is a personal trainer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And and even even with some of the comments he was making it. crazy endurance routines mm-hmm. because it's not easy to even stand for one hour mm-hmm. now not just stand you know you know it's, it's a regular thing when you're standing maybe you're standing in, in an environment where it's so conducive but she's standing in the heat you see it, it, she, it, she, 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 it, she didn't just train the body to to that point in time she actually trained the mind also yeah because the body might be weak mm-hmm. the body might be weak but the mind will keep controlling the body to so just keep going mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow, wow, thank you. When you, you sent messages, I, I was like, no, 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 no. It, it took me to another level of um, not, just, not just loving what you do, not just um, the passion, the love that, okay, yes, I can cook, but trying to break a record is, is something, something so. It so is, tough. it is, so it tough. is. And you know, it, and the, funny, the, you know, the funny thing is, not even, it, 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 I, don't, I don't feel like it comes to, okay, how many crunches can you do? How many? I think it just comes with um, the total body workout. Total body. You okay. have to do your strength training, you do your resistance training, you do your cardiovascular training also. So I think she, she has really engaged herself because if you look at the on article, she said she, she had to, uh, in five years, she lost 20 kg yeah. to, get to, that, to, to get to that level. So you can see that it's not just about maybe she did five countries today, she did 10 countries today. No, 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 no. She has been training for the past five years to get to that level. Mm. All right. So Thank if, if one if, if one had to sorry, sorry, let me let me say if one had to like say, okay, what are the trainings to do to engage into that? Trust me. What I will tell you is you need to make fitness a lifestyle. Mm. That's just it. Mm. That's just it. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, um Stephen Oluafemi. Now um Bassison. Yes. All right. So um talking about training the mind and training the body. If you had that kind of client walk up to you and say, okay, what do we start from cardiovascular, endurance, um, exercises? What would you recommend as a starting option for such a person? Well, what I would recommend for a starter, what I would actually recommend for a starter is moderate exercises, okay. weight training. Okay. Yeah. Weight training that can, you know, Mm-hmm. and signal the brain to release endorphins because that actually helps a lot in when it comes to the uh, when it comes to human fitness okay because though the rates differs from person to person mm-hmm. i don't know if you understand mm-hmm. yes, I do. you are adding purely for the for the happiness uh, rush, as we, uh, we may call it. Okay. Endorphin. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Okay. Endorphins actually help in relieving pains. You understand? Mm-hmm. As, yeah, it mm-hmm. helps in relieving pains. Okay. Through, and it helps in motivate. Bassison. That's it, nice to you there. All right, since we lost our guest um, temporarily. <laughs> but, I mean, while we're trying to get them back, I totally understand what Bassison and, and Coach Flex like, in, like to be called. I totally understand what they're getting. You have to build your endurance, your cardiovascular, because standing for that amount of hours, I mean, talking about the science, your feet, is going to hurt and you need yeah. your feet to pump back blood blood up back into your, your system you get so it's like i don't and um according to you know what we've been hearing on twitter she has a whole medical personnel at the back of her for her breaks she That's goes and they of. massage her feet you know they check her medical parameters and everything and it it's it was a whole lot but then i'm just hearing that we have our guest back so Bassison, can you hear me, please? 
All right, so sorry, you were cut short the other time. So we're talking about um, endurance and cardiovascular. So what, fine, fine and all, we already know we're going to build your endurance, we're going to build your cardiovascular strength and everything. So what exercises actually help with that? Do you do push-ups? Do you do crunches? Do you do, you know, just tell us. Um, you have to indulge. Are you asking me to list out the yes, kind of exercises? Yes, that some exercises that can help in that regard. Okay. Um, you can do crunches to boost up your your cord control. Okay. Because when, sometimes when you when a woman, the human body. Do you understand? Are you hearing me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, when the human body, like, does not have a certain strength of core control, you can't really face the challenges. Okay. When it comes, especially standing for that for a longer hour, mm -hmm. I, I think core control will actually go a long way and doing um, strength training as well, working on doing the lower body programs, squats, which to have some machines that can assist and post up your, your strength level. All right. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Bassison. Thank you, Coach Flex, for your words of wisdom today. I mean, if you're watching this, you already know what you want to do. I mean, you want to break records. You break... <laughs> You, you have to be ready to give for a lot of things. Thank you so much for coming on the Medics Talk Show. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, so back to Hilda Bassi and her cook athon, which yeah. ended yesterday, last night. I mean, after 96 hours, I was rooting for her to go to 100. But after 100, I was like, she's still a cook. I think she stopped at 100 though. I I, I, I really like, because at one point I was actually worried. Maybe to wait for the food to finish cooking. Somebody should just yeah. collect the spoon from her and tell her, it's okay. We're done. Yeah, it's okay, you have tried. <laughs> <laughs> because I was actually really worried for her, but I'm so happy. I'm so happy she broke the record. I'm so happy she had Nigerians coming out to like root for her. I'm so Shout happy out to her every good friend. friend. Came out. And when her mom came, I was like, I literally cried on that one mm. when her mom came. Really I got so emotional. so emotional. Um, but then it was, it was emotional by this time. Right. Well, anyway, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you, you have a laugh for coming on the next show. <laughs> All right, thank you. I'm going to see you in my next release. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye, guys. It was nice having you guys. Ciao.